All through our childhood, we're shaped by the people around us. We're instilled with morals, ideas, culture and aspirations. Eventually, there comes a time when you have to leave your childhood home. It never feels like the right time, but at the same time, you're ready. And as you leave, you look back over your shoulder at your childhood, already distant, shrinking, before setting your sights on the horizon, a tangle of nerves and excitement in your stomach. In the opening hour of Sable, our heroine collects what she needs to begin her journey and the titles roll as you venture out into the wild. The world opens up in front of you, sand dunes as far as you can see. There's no right or wrong answer as to where to go next. You could go anywhere. Set your sights on the horizon and just drive. Sable's hoverbike is an extension of her spirit, full of life freewheeling into unknown territory with glee and abandon, joyous and daring. This is a coming of age story, a game about flying the nest and seeing the world for yourself for the first time, safety net removed. Shedworks is a two-man studio founded by lifelong friends, Greg Kithriotis and Daniel Feinberg, in a shed at the end of the garden in Greg's childhood home. Sable is their debut game, born of a flash of inspiration, fleshed out over the course of five years. But when a germ of an idea grows exponentially, as does the expectations of the public, how does a team of two bring it all together to create a world and a game that lives up to the hype? How do you corral and control the development of a game that could keep getting bigger and bigger? When do you stop adding things and decide it's finished? How much is too much for a two-person team, logistically and emotionally? And how do you work with others to bring that dream to life without compromising your original vision? This is a story of how two childhood friends grew up together, started a studio, and brought their first major game idea to fruition over several years of hard work, all the while learning and making new friends. This is Making Games is Fun, and this is the story of how Sable outgrew the shed.
With the concept and early prototype in place, Shedworks had their big idea, an open world game focusing on story, exploration, and a sense of place. Now that's the fun part, but once that initial excitement fades, you're faced with the reality of just how much work there is to do. Ahead would be a long journey of learning, designing, failing, and retrying, because as we know, making games is really difficult. Sable is a game about wanderlust, so it was important that the game world was the star of the show. Greg drew on his love of architecture to bring authenticity and believability to the world. It's something he's passionate about, and his various architectural references and influences are clearly reflected in the game's settlements and structures.
Good sound design and music can massively elevate a game's atmosphere. So when Dan speculatively messaged Japanese Breakfast, one of his favorite musicians, about possibly collaborating on Sable, it's fair to say he pretty much struck gold. After just a few months working at their new studio space, the global pandemic hit. Like everybody, Shedworks were forced to work in new ways, as well as face new problems. After planning to show the game off at conventions and expos, suddenly a full demo version had to be put together.
Thank you. 